Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will do illustrating quadratic inequalities. This topic is quite important before we proceed to solving quadratic inequalities. I hope na matutunan nyo yung tutorial video natin ngayon. At kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe para updated ka sa ating mga future math tutorial videos. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Salamat! Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will do illustrating quadratic inequalities. Pero before natin puntahan yung mismong lesson natin, state muna natin yung pinaka-objective natin throughout this video. So we have here the objective. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify quadratic inequalities. So dito, in our video, uh, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano malalaman na yung ma-identify natin ng isang given mathematical sentence ay example ba talaga ng quadratic inequalities. So, before natin puntahan yung different examples ng quadratic inequalities, ay mag-review muna tayo about quadratic equation. Kasi pag na-review natin or nagkaroon tayo ng idea about quadratic equation, is madali na rin natin matututunan yung quadratic inequalities. So, in a quadratic equation, in standard form, it looks like ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. This is the standard form of any quadratic equation. So again, the given form above is an equation. So ang ginagamit pag equation is none other than the symbol, yung equal sign natin, or equal symbol natin. But sometimes, in mathematics, lalo na sa Mathematics 9, we can encounter, or we, we will encounter, like, inequalities. So para mas madali natin matutunan nito, so puntahan natin ito symbol. Ang ginagamit na symbol for inequality ay uh, ito we have here the symbol ang ibig sabihin niyan in words is greater than and then example ng inequality that, are, that is using a greater than symbol is that we have here x squared minus 5 is greater than 4 that is an example of inequality the second symbol na may encounter natin in this video is that we have the less than symbol. Ito yung ibig sabihin yan. We have the less than symbol. Example of inequality using less than symbol is that we have 7x squared less than negative 8x. That is definitely an example of quadratic inequality or inequality. Next, we have here greater than or equal. So, yung greater than symbol, kung makapansin nyo, meron siyang bar sa ilalim. Ang basa po dyan is greater than or equal. Example of inequality using that symbol is that we have here 4 is greater than or equal to x squared minus x. And then the last one na may encounter natin when it comes to inequality, we have here less than or equal. So yung less than symbol, meron na siyang bar sa ilalim. And then ang basa po dyan is again, less than or equal. Example of inequality using that symbol is that we have here 2z squared plus 1 less than or equal to 7y. These are the examples of inequalities na ginamita natin ng symbol na greater than, less than, greater than or equal, less than or equal. Now, after defining again quadratic equation, let's define quadratic inequalities. Then later on, after defining this one, I will give you examples of quadratic inequalities and then examples of non-examples of quadratic inequalities. So define natin yung quadratic inequalities. A quadratic inequality is an inequality with one variable of degree 2. So kung gusto nyo maintindihan yung pinaka, ano nito, isipin nyo lang yung, ano, yung quadratic equation. Diba kanina, we have the quadratic equation. The standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. This one is an example of quadratic equation. And sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, since this one is a quadratic inequality, we will be using the symbol greater than, less than, greater than or equal, less than or equal. So using the symbol, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung different forms ng isang quadratic inequalities. Ng isang quadratic inequality. So, let's start with this one. Erase natin to. And the first form 
using this symbol is that we have this one. The first form is ax squared plus bx plus c is greater than 0. And the second form of a quadratic inequality is that you have ax squared plus bx plus c and using less than symbol less than 0. The third one is that we have ax squared plus bx plus c is greater than or equal to 0. And then the last form of any quadratic inequality is that we have ax squared plus bx plus c is less than or equal to 0. This, these are the different standard forms of any quadratic inequalities. In the next part of our video, I will show different examples and non-examples of quadratic inequalities. We have here four examples of quadratic inequalities and non-examples of quadratic inequalities. In each example, tuturo ko sa inyo kung bakit nga ba siya makukonsider na quadratic inequality at bakit hindi. Okay? So, let's analyze the following examples and then examples of quadratic inequalities. Let's move on to the first one. Examples. We have here, x squared is greater than 0. So, do you think this one is an example of quadratic inequality? Yes, kasi nga kasama siya dyan. So, paano ba natin malalaman na yung isang mathematical sentence is an example of quadratic inequality? Basically, gumagamit siya ng symbol na greater than, less than, less than or equal, or greater than or equal. In this example, gumamit tayo ng greater than symbol. I will be using a red ink para sa ating ano. Yan. Greater than symbol. And now, sir, meron na tayo isang term. Don't worry. In a quadratic inequality, importante na nag meron tayo laging quadratic term. And since this term has the exponent of 2, automatic, number 1 is an example of quadratic inequality. So check in. Next, let's move on to item number 2. We have y squared minus, ah sorry, y squared less than 1 minus y. So, kung kapansin nyo, the given example in number 2 is not yet in standard form. Pero pag inarrange nyo siya as quadratic inequality in standard form, it will become y squared plus y minus 1 is less than 0. At kung makapansin nyo, yung ating inequality ay less than, gumamit siya ng less than symbol. At the same time, meron tayong term. Or meron tayong quadratic term. Meaning, example number 2 is a quadratic inequality. Now, let's move on to item number 3. We have here z squared is less than or equal to 2z squared plus 5. Ay, before I forgot the, no, the trick or the secret about this one, is before kayo mag-identify or before nyo identify na yung isang sentence or mathematical sentence ay example ng quadratic inequality, ang gawin nyo muna is to simplify the whole expression or the whole sentence and then ilagay nyo sa standard form. Like this one, we have z squared is less than or equal to 2z squared plus 5. So dito, when we rearrange this kind of sentence, we have here z squared minus 2z squared minus 5 is less than or equal to 0. Na kung saan, kapag, kapag sinimplify nyo pa yan, kung, kung manonotice nyo, this part, pray natin, it will become negative z squared minus 5 less than or equal to 0. At though sinimplify na natin siya, meron pa rin tayong remaining quadratic term. At the same time, gumagamit tayo ng symbol na less than or equal. Therefore, this example is an example of quadratic inequality. So, let's move on to item number 4. So, sir, yan po ay isang, ay hindi isang isang example ng quadratic inequality. 
do gumagamit po siya ng symbol for inequality, wala po tayong quadratic term. At sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, di ba? Kailangan nyo mo na simplify So, meron na tayong symbol ng for inequality. And then, kung gagamit kayo ng FOIL method, dito pa lang, multiplying S and S, you can get S squared. And then, pag sinimplify nyo po yan, it will become plus 3S, multiplying this 2. Pag minultiply nyo to, that will become minus 2S. At ito naman ay minus 6 is greater than or equal to 6. And simplifying the whole inequality, it will become S squared plus S minus 12 is greater than or equal to 0. As you can see, meron tayong symbol of inequality at meron tayong quadratic term. Therefore, item number 4 is an example of quadratic inequality. So I hope sa apat na examples natin ay notice nyo or natandaan nyo Paano ba ma-identify ng isang inequality ay quadratic inequality? So, punta naman natin yung non-examples of quadratic inequality. So, let's move on to item number one. Kung mapansin nyo, gumamit siya ng inequality symbol, pero ang wala sa kanya ay yung quadratic term. Ito ay example lang ng linear inequality. Therefore, ito ay hindi example ng quadratic inequality. So, ganun lang kasimple. Let's move on to item number 2. Yon. Sa unang tingin, it looks like na isa siyang quadratic inequality, pero hindi. Gamit ang symbol of inequality, less than symbol, but when you re rearrange the given sentence or inequality, at ginawa mo siyang standard form, you will have y squared minus y squared plus w minus 3 is less than zero. This part, kapag kinumbine yung like terms, ang mangyayari dyan, it will become zero. So, mangyayari, mawawala or may eliminate yung quadratic term. So, mangyayari sa kanya, magiging linear inequality na lang siya. Therefore, item number two is not an example of quadratic inequality. So, let's move on to item number three. So, try natin ha, mas mabilisan lang. So, Papansin nyo, there are two groups of parentheses. Pag multiply nyo to, it will become y squared. Right? And then, pag pinuntan naman natin yung right side ng ating inequality, when you multiply y and y, you can get y squared. And then, hindi ko na uubusin yung, ano, yung example natin. Ha? When you transpose or write this inequality in standard form, you have here, y squared minus y squared. And then, kung mapansin nyo, combining these two terms, magiging zero. At at the end, may eliminate yung quadratic term. Therefore, item number three is not an example of quadratic inequality. So, these are the examples of quadratic inequalities, and these are the non-examples of quadratic, quadratic inequalities. So, I hope na given these seven, seven examples, ay naiintindihan nyo kung paano man naman nilalaman ng isang mathematical sentence ay example ng quadratic inequality at hindi. Hi guys! It's me, Teacher Gon. Kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe para updated ka sa ating mga future videos. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Salamat!